Hey guys, welcome back to the second podcast of this chapter. We're going to take a look at the cell membrane today. Okay, going on with our discussion of uh, the cell organelles and their functions. And we're going to spend some time on the cell membrane because its structure is very significant to its function. And there's a lot of different things that we need to look at. Uh, and so let's, let's start with looking at where it is. Okay, and we'll do these in blue. All right, where is it? Well... The cell membrane, you, it surrounds the cell, the whole thing. It surrounds the entire cell. Okay, but remember, the nucleus is membrane bound. Okay, so the structure of the cell membrane is the same, actually, as all the membranes in, in, uh, found in the organelles in the, in the cell. Uh, and we'll, we'll come back to that in just a second. And what is its function? This in red. You should already have these on that chart that we did in class. The, cells, the cell membrane's function is to control movement in and out of the cell. Okay, So if something needs to come into the cell, if it's a sugar, if it's a, um, an ion, if it's uh, some kind of food, if it's another organism even, the cell membrane is going to control what can come in. But at the same time, remember, the cell is producing proteins. And so the membrane is controlling what proteins can leave the cell, what vacuoles can leave the cell, things like that. And so we need to, to take a look then uh, at the structure that goes with the function. Okay, so the structure of the cell membrane. This is called a phospholipid, phospholipid bilayer. And that's a really fancy way of saying you have two layers of a lipid um, compound. And remember, lipids are fats. Okay, and these have the, uh, the very simple shape. Okay, so we've got let's do some blue. Okay, the blue part. Okay, this is the phosphate group. It's a phosphate. This is similar to the phosphate in DNA, and this is called hydro, meaning water. Hydrophilic. Hydrophilic means that it's water loving. Water loving. And that'll make more sense in just a minute. Okay, so the phosphate part is hydrophilic, which means it really, really likes water. Okay. The other piece of this phospholipid is we've got two. Okay, these are fatty acid chains. Fatty acid chains. Okay, this is a lipid. Remember, lipids have fatty acids in them, triglycerides uh, specifically. So the first part is the phosphate. The second part is the fatty acid chain. If this is hydrophilic, this is going to be hydrophobic. Hydrophobic or water-hating or fear of water. Okay, so if you have like arachnophobia, that's the fear of spiders. Um, if you have hydrophobia, you're afraid of water. So this phospholipid, okay, we have a phosphate group and a lipid group. Together, it makes a phospholipid, and we get a lot of these put together to make uh, the cell membrane. And so here's a diagram of it. Uh, the reds up here are the phosphate groups. So let's do this in blue because water is, is bluish. Okay, so all of these are phosphate groups, and they line up next to each other side by side. And then below that, you have these lipids, these fatty acid chains, okay, the orange and these stay on the inside of this membrane bilayer. Okay, this is a bilayer. Meaning we have a layer on top and we have a layer on bottom. Notice the phosphate is pointing out. Okay, it is hydrophilic. And that's because it's polar. And then the inside is staying in. Okay, right here, this is all staying in because it's hydrophobic or it's nonpolar. And these, again, are fatty acids. Okay, so we have the uh, you know this bilayer is forming around the cell. Okay, and that's and that's the basic structure. And the cool thing about these is that they're not locked into place. Is that and it's called the fluid mosaic model. And we'll come back to that some other time. But really, what happens is that this phospholipid layer can kind of flow around the outside of the cell depending on what it needs to do. Uh, so the cell membrane again, just to recap. Remember, it is around the entire cell and around some of the organelles. Its function is to control the movement in and out of the cell. 
And then the structure that allows this to happen is called the phospholipid bilayer, which is made up of a phosphate, okay, made of a phosphate. And the second part of that is a fatty acid chain or a tail, which are hydrophobic and hydrophilic respectively, and give us a bilayer membrane.